There's no question that they should be honored. They've created a great legacy of music and uh, integrity that we all, as gospel artists, can lean on and, and lean from. So it feels really good to come together as a family to celebrate them. And I'm always thankful for being my effort to do that. I'm a fan. Okay. Total fan. Yeah, yeah. Of Hezekiah Walker and, yes, yes. and Kirk Franklin. I've been singing that music since I was a kid. Uh, but you guys are all right. Three, two, and one. I've been singing that music for Hezekiah Walker and changed the face of the gospel music in church and across the world. I'm so glad to be here at the 13th Annual Hezekiah Walker and Kirk Franklin because they kind of helped us realize you ain't got to want to sue. You ain't got to want to sue. You ain't got to want to sue. To, to sing the gospel right now. It was great kind of looking at them as my, my far away mentors over the years as I grew up. It's influenced everybody. I mean, it's impossible for the music not to influence you. Um, Trailblazer is the right word for both of them. Because both of them have done what no one would do it before they did it. And so it's just an honor to be here to, to, to see them being honored. And, and, and it's good that we do this while people are still in the ministry, still working. And so it's an honor. All right, three. The, the just, and no two greater men. Perfect. Thank you so two, much. They are worthy of all that the gospel community can say and do for them. Absolutely. Well, we can start with how they have influenced us as individuals. Yeah. Like, and they're just consistent. And I'm consistently pushing themselves, consistently wanting to do, go to the next level, right? That is what I think has made the big impact on us. Whenever you get lazy and you're like, oh, I can't do this, you look at people like that and it's like, wow. So I'm excited to be here to be the support of the We go way back. Yeah. You know what? Over the years, I was, as we were going through the catalog, picking songs and everything, it's amazing to know how many songs have really impacted our lives. Oh my God, come on, he's able. Come on now, Silver and Gold. Come on, calling my name. All of these songs, the songs, they have food, nutrients. You know what I'm saying? It's food to the soul, nutrients, vitamins, all that. All that in Ada Cup. And I just, it, it, it's just to hear them sing and, and being on the road and then you going through the most darkest time and you can just flip on any one of their records and just be healed and just, you know. It's amazing. We have watched them do it for years, successfully do it. And so it is on their shoulders that we now stand. We've tried to do it. But it's because we had great examples like Kirk, like people like Kirk Franklin and Fred uh, standing in the Great examples they've been. They've been successful, I think, because they're walking worthy of the vocation way and they've been called. And so I'm honored to be here just to say, let me give you your flowers. You so these two men together have just impacted my life. Like my music so I'm honored to be here for uh, Oh, we praise you was my first real Hezekiah Marcus that I love and still to this day. It's what, 17, 18 years later? And that song still crazy. We still sing in the church. Well, for us, like, you know, being with Kirk Franklin, it was our beginning. It's our beginning, so it's a lot. We got a chance to hear it when, you know, when it was just the piano before everything else put Sitting around on the floor. Yeah, exactly, at the church. At the church. So, I mean, it's like, it's just a blessing. I, I just thank God how God has kept him. It's just elevated him. It, it's just a blessing to be a part on today. And, and both of us, both of them, even with, with Bishop Walker, Walker, we used to all travel the Six Flags circuit yes. together and just all be on the buses and during yeah. the summers and just so yeah. We sung together, we got sick together. Oh, yeah. He probably don't even oh, remember yeah. that. He don't even remember that. It's just, it's just amazing how God, it's just how God does what he do, if I can yeah. say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> Who has it in What's going on? Yeah. What's up with that? Oh, they've mastered oh, the like art of that. writing on <laughs> hearts <laughs> lyrics. You know how yes, you feel something? Something and you don't know how to say it, okay. Absolutely. or you don't know how to detail it. Yes. It's just an emotion. Yeah. I don't know. They heard God and they detail the heart's emotion, and I'm just grateful. Because I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> it's just so important that we honor these great legends because um, they keep gospel, you know, to the top. And um, you know, when you have two power pack uh, legends. It's still the test of time, you know, and each one of us have gone through something. Each one of them have a testimony, but they have outlived the lives, they outlived, you know, 
Wow, well, you know, I grew up in church and I was a choir director. And I remember teaching my choir, of course, Hezekiah Walker songs. I'm sorry, you ain't got a choir if they're not singing at least 10 of his songs. So they're so influential because, like you said, they still touch a generation. I don't care if you're 90 years old, you can still sway to some Hezekiah Walker or Kirk Franklin musical, or even if you're 10, you know.